How you going guys? So, still in Wanaka and uh, we've had some lunch and had a bit of a look around town. I've come down to a spot called, I think it's Ely Point Reserve. I'll put the proper name up the top here. And uh, it's got a, a nice little sort of rock point here um, at the base of the park. And that point overlooks uh, Wanaka Lake. And then I've got the mountains uh, off in the distance. And there's some really dramatic clouds rolling in at the moment. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to shoot some time lapse. Uh, so I've set up the camera for that and uh, I'll talk you through some of the settings now. So I've got both a 10 stop neutral density filter and a graduated neutral density filter on the front of the lens. And this is giving me exposure times of about one second uh, at f4.5. Earlier on I was shooting with just the graduated filter on the front and getting the same exposure times but the aperture was dialed in at about f13. I've also been shooting some long exposures here, hence the, the 10 stop filter. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'll get some really dramatic movement in the clouds. Uh, it looks like they're coming towards the camera so that, that's quite nice. The light here today is really beautiful. Uh, there was a little bit of rain around before but now it's quite dramatic and I'm getting a lot of um, light and shadow on all the mountains in, in and around this lake. I'm hoping with both the time lapse and the long exposures I'm using some of the rocks that are out um, half submerged in the water out in the lake as a bit of a leading line and foreground interest. And then the water, particularly with the, the long exposures, smoothed out and then I'm getting some really dramatic movement in the cloud up above these massive alpine peaks in the background. And, um, yeah, I don't know what more to say. I mean, this is a beautiful location. It's really nice and quiet down here. The water's just blowing in and lapping against all the rocks. You can probably hear that in the background. Sorry if the audio is no good. Um, but I'll shoot this for another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll head back to the van, and I think we're going to go and set up at, uh, at our campground for tonight. It's been a, another epic day here in New Zealand really enjoyed getting around seeing some of the sights. The drive down um, around the top of Lake Wanaka and Lake Hawia I think it's called is really quite spectacular and I managed to pull in at a few different spots and uh, get a few shots while I was there. Anyway uh, hope you're enjoying these little videos and I'll probably talk to you a bit later on. I may go and shoot that Wanaka tree either at sunset tonight or uh, first thing in the morning, I'll get down there and get that uh, that Insta shot or that, that postcard shot that billions of other people have. Anyway, for now, uh, Ely Point, really beautiful location here. And uh, all right, I'll talk to you later on. See ya. Morning. It's the start of day four here in New Zealand and uh, we've just woken up at Cameron Flat and driven up the road to a place called Blue Pools and uh, we're just going to go for a walk through the, through the forest. So that was Blue Pools, uh, the view from the bridge and then the pools is kind of where the uh, two rivers here converge. Uh, beautiful water but uh, not as crystal clear as we could have hoped and uh, a lot of that was to do with the rain. We're just making our way down a little side track on the way back and there's a big rock beach down here and it seems as though it's a bit of a custom to build rock cans out on the uh, out on the surface of this rock flat. Anyway, we'll just have a quick look around here and then start heading back to the van.
morning. So it's started day five and uh, we're still at Wanaka Lake and I've come down this morning to shoot the, that Wanaka tree. Um, came down yesterday afternoon for a bit of a recce. There are a thousand people climbing all over the beach and uh, also haven't got epic light. I've got some really beautiful atmospheric clouds happening this morning. There's one other photographer down here. Um, so I'll go and see if I can find a nice composition and shoot a few shots. I'm not gonna go berserk on this. This is just a, yes, I shot the Wanaka tree opportunity and uh, I'll go and do that now. Set up and I'll uh, maybe talk you through some of the settings as I shoot. I'm here at that Wanaka tree and I've set up the camera. A uh, bit of excitement this morning. I started firing away and then realised that I didn't have any memory cards in the camera. I think I've got a reasonably nice composition. I'm getting some of the tree reflections in the water in the foreground and uh, just trying to balance poplar trees that lead into the a leading line from the left hand side of the frame into the tree and then using the mountain on the right hand side as a, as a balancing leading line and then trying to find the composition where the tree is the centre point but it's not encroaching on any of the background. You'll see what I mean when I put the image up. Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful calm morning here this morning. Uh, not epic light but uh, pretty good. We've got another photographer down here, he's just got his drone up at the moment. You can probably hear that buzzing in the background. And um, I've got a aperture setting of f13, uh, ISO 100 and I'm getting uh, exposures between about half a second right up to 20th of a second and uh, I'll use as if need be to blend uh, the sky and the highlights in with the shadows in the foreground. Anyway I'll continue shooting as the light changes a little bit and then I might pack up from here and move around. There's a jetty over the other side of the lake. I'll probably head over there and see if I can use that as a, a leading line or a foreground interest in one of the images and have the, the hero mountains in the background. Anyway I'll, uh, I'll continue shooting and uh, see how we go.